Hello, it's Laura, and I'm back with the second Scrap Lift Sunday, this Scrap Timber Marathon. And we are lifting this gorgeous layout by Amanda Jane Baldwin for Coco Vanilla. And I am using the exact same stamp set that she had, though I'm not stamping exactly the way she did. I am trying to kind of create the same sort of a uh, soft floaty background that she created and I'm using stamps. I know that's going to excite several of you because I don't use stamps terribly often in my scrapbooking, mostly because I just forget they're there. I actually posted this on Instagram the other day about how I just forget to use my stamps and I want to know what is the one thing in your stash, whether it's mixed media, whether it's stamps, whether it's uh, stencils, what is it in your stash that you bought thinking, I'm going to use this all the time and then you never use it on your layouts? <laughs> Mine is definitely stamps. I just don't reach for them very often and to be quite honest, the main reason that I don't use stamps more often is because I'm impatient and I want to get the layout done. As it turns out, this stamping managed to make this layout super fast. I finished this layout in just under 40 minutes. So that's actually pretty good for me. And when you're using your stamps to create the entire background, I guess it's much faster. <laughs> Information I now have. So I am kind of using a piece of scrap paper to stamp off of first because I wanted these gray hearts to be a lot lighter. I have a dark gray ink pad. I don't have a light gray one. So I'm just using it to stamp off onto the scrap paper first. And then I have a lighter faded looking gray, which is what I was looking for. I showed you at the beginning, I'm using the Distress Oxide Tumbled Glass, I believe is what it's called and it's a very very light blue and then this is a gray archival ink and then later i will bring in the distress oxide spun sugar which is a very nice light pink and i'm not really following any sort of pattern here i knew there was going to be a cluster of florals at the top left and a cluster of florals at the bottom right and so i'm just trying to create a little bit of a kind of a soft background for those florals you're not going to see a whole lot of the stamping once i add the florals and i know that so i'm just trying to kind of being sort of random with it adding some hearts here or there i will say that when i went from the kind of blue tumbled glass hearts to the gray hearts i forgot to stamp off onto the scrap paper and ended up with some really dark ones. <laughs> this one here, yeah, that was not intentional. And I went, oops, that was not quite what I was going for. So <laughs> I do end up covering a lot of that dark gray stamping up at the top. And uh, until then though, I'm just adding in the floral in the tumbled glass, the hearts in the tumbled glass, and the tiny little hearts in the gray. Here's that sponge sugar. And I'll use that for the butterflies. And this just is creating a bit of um, a base for my florals. Because, I mean, the parts you're going to see of this just sort of peek through and you don't see all of it in great detail. So it's okay that it looks really messy <laughs> at this stage of the game. You might be looking at this thinking, Laura, this looks like a giant mess. And you would be correct. So I am going to use some border strips that I cut off of another piece of paper from this collection that I'm using for this layout. And that collection is Just a Little Lovely by Pink Fresh Studio. And it is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Love, love, love this collection. And I had a lot of fun playing with it. Interestingly enough, I didn't use very much of the papers on here. The only papers that I used were those two strips on the side. So... I, I'm going to find myself short on embellishments with this collection, I think, because I've been hoarding the papers like crazy. So here are the florals I'm using. They are acetate and they are colored acetate and they are stunning. They also have a really nice gold outline to them and they were just perfect for this photo of my oldest daughter, Chloe, who is a seventh grader this year. Yes, yeah, seventh grade, wow, that blows my mind. And this is her first day of school photo. And I just thought it was a cute picture of her. So I thought it'd be a great one to scrap with this collection. It's just got the right color tones happening. And it really pops on this white background, I think. So I'm just playing around with some of the gold ones as opposed to the color ones, kind of mixing the two together. And then I'll bring in some ephemera to sort of finish it off. But I wanted to create a bit of a base with the florals and then we'll add to it. And I'm following that same general shape that Amanda Jane made with hers. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just turns out really super cute. And I'm really glad that we lifted this one. Now, 
I will tell you up front, this one was definitely my choice. Amanda Jane is definitely more my style than Miranda's. And so I'm interested to see how Miranda takes a spin on this because it's very minimal with paper and she likes to use a lot of paper. So I'm really curious to see if she goes minimal with paper as well or if she finds a way to layer it to pieces. I'm really curious. So definitely check hers out after you finish watching mine. And also don't forget, it is still scrap timber. And so we do have a guest designer for today. Crafty Maggie, who is Maggie Blethen, and she will have a video up today as well. So you may notice this lines of light creeping toward my layout. That would be the sun. This is why I don't normally scrap during the day on camera, is because I have blinds on the window over my desk, and quite often the light will shift in a fairly short period of time. And so this layout was made over the course of 40 minutes, and yet the light changes drastically from beginning to end. So I am going to skip ahead a little bit here as I did a lot of fussing and gluing, and you will see the light has drifted onto my layout quite significantly now, and I didn't notice it at first. So I'm bringing in some of these gold sparkly enamel dots that are part of this collection that I love very, very much, and kind of sprinkling those all around, doing a bit of scattering, if you will, as well as using the enamel dots that came with this collection. Uh, I think I used the purple ones and a few of the kind of peachy colored ones and a few of the teal ones and I'm just using that for my scattering all around my little floral clusters and then I'll come in with some splattering now it does occur to me while I'm shaking my Heidi Swap color shine that the blinds have released these rays of light all over my layout and that's not ideal so I fixed it and then I'm going to head with my splattering and finishing up this layout. Be sure to check out Miranda and Natalie and the amazing Crafty Maggie in the links below. And until next time, bye!